And so in this area, on this year, which is the 150th anniversary of the Sand Creek Massacre, we focus on the Sand Creek Massacre, not because it's the only important incident, not because it affects all of the people, but because it is here in our territory and our Methodist forebearers are so central to the story that we can't fail to know this history. So come with me humbly to walk this path, to listen, to learn. A full day was spent touring the Sand Creek Massacre Monument on the Eastern Plains near Eads, Colorado. It was a time of quiet reflection, a time of learning, and for some, a time to remember. Later in the evening, the conference came together at a banquet where tribal descendants had a chance to reflect on the meaning of healing relationships. Reverend Chuck Schuster helped organize the day's activities. It was suggested that we recognize the significance of that tragic time when over 200 women, children, and peaceful tribal leaders were slaughtered by the cold calculated action of a former Methodist pastor and Methodist pastor. He continued his ministry, sponsored by the territorial governor, a Methodist layperson. It soon occurred to us that we have involvement and investment in that history. In fact, it's not ancient history, it's current and for us. Were we not to claim that history, it would be to have the effect of perpetuating the atrocity. The descendants of that event, forever caught in the sadness of their grief, suggested that we make a pilgrimage and that all of us, all of us make a pilgrimage to the site of the massacre. They wanted us to go to their sacred place. The descendants of Sand Creek invited us to be at their sacred place. And in doing that, they have taken their grief and have moved to a level of grace. For that invitation, for us to join them, given the history and our part in it, borders on something very special and I would say holy.